Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a while since we've put a video up on, on here. Uh, the last was when we were doing our Christmas countdown. So we've had a little bit of a break. Uh, we've still been working hard in our day jobs teaching. Um, but I wanted to put a video up today because the year six sats are coming up and they're coming up quite soon. Um, they're they're going to be they're going to be here any time. So um, we know that teachers are working away furiously trying to get the children prepared. And this is just a video for parents to help um, with the maths tests in particular, what you can do to help your child with the mental arithmetic test, which is paper one. OK, so let's get into the video. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video, I hope you're going to find it useful. It's going to be all about the maths, SATS maths tests, about how you can help your child to really give them a good chance to pass the overall SATS tests, uh, particularly how you can help them with the arithmetic paper. So um, let's get straight into it. I'm going to um, just have a look at something here. So this is... Um, First of all, the test, okay? So you can see it here, the paper one arithmetic. Uh, this is the key stage two SATs from 2019. It's available online if you wanna have a look at it. Um, but basically, um, this is the first paper um, of three papers that they will attempt. Um, and this one is out of 40. They have 30 minutes to complete the test, which is slightly less than the other two papers because given the nature of the questions, they should be able to attempt these questions quickly and therefore get through the whole paper in 30 minutes. 36 questions in total. So some of the questions, the longer ones are worth more than one mark. They can be worth two marks. But why is it important that they score high on this first paper? Well, first of all, this paper is particularly, in my opinion, easier than the other two. The other two are reasoning papers. The children have to apply what they've learned in maths lessons to problem solving and it's there's more there's more margin for error in those questions it's um, across a much wider range of, of short, uh, subjects within maths you know where this one is focusing focusing on place value and number fractions primarily so we try and make sure the children score highly on this and let me explain a little bit why that is so here we have um this is the pass mark from the 2019 paper. Now you can see there's a couple of numbers here, the first one being 58. So that's their raw score, which means that over the course of three papers, if I just bring up this, which the government will send out once the test is done, the children get a raw score, which is how much they scored across all three papers, um, 35, 35 and 40 being the maximum scores. Obviously children um, would not really rarely get that many marks, but then that equates to what is a scaled score. Now the scaled score last year to pass was 100. And if we just go down, that is equivalent to 58 marks over the three papers. If they score 53, 58 or above over the three papers in this particular year, they would have got a scale score of 100 and passed. Now on previous years, it's been lower. Um, it's been 56, so somewhere between 56 and 58 is the marks required usually in order to pass their year six SATs test. Now, why is that so important? Well, because if I just go back to this document, um, if you imagine they need 58 over, over three papers, if you divide that equally by three, it works out about 19 marks per paper, um, just above that actually. But um, it's, it's, you know, like I said before, some of the papers are easier than others. Paper one, um, in my opinion, is easier. And we try to make sure the children scores many marks on that paper as possible. Um, for example, let's say the children could score 35 out of 40 marks on the arithmetic paper, um, going through and getting that many questions right, or in the high 30s. Um, so 35 out of 40, um, if we take away... 35 from the total of 58, which is the pass mark over the three papers, it leaves us with only 23 marks combined required from the other two papers. Now, just have a think about that for a second. Only 23 marks they will need to score across the other two papers. Now, given that the other two papers are out of 35, um, there it gives them a really good chance. They would only need 
12 from paper two and 11 from paper three or vice versa to, to pass their test if they do really well on that paper one. So basically, if you help your child to score high on that arithmetic paper, um, a lot of the teachers will be doing this as well. It gives them a really great chance, no matter how difficult paper two and paper three is, okay, paper three and paper three are, sorry, it gives them a really great chance of, of passing their test, you know, overall, because they will only need an, a minimum of 23 uh, marks combined across the other two papers. So um, it's, it's really, really something that we can do to help our child, uh, our children really pass their SATs tests in year six in the maths. Now, what can you do then? So there is on um, looking at the test, then these papers are available online, the old papers, and um, you can download these and help get your child to attempt them to see what kinds of scores they're getting. Um, you can also uh, find online a really other great website, which I want to talk to you a little bit now. It's called myminimaths.co.uk. And I recently discovered we recently discovered this um, as a team at school and have been using it since. But I really liked it because, um, first of all, you can get um, practice papers. So if you go to a year six arithmetic, year six practice papers, you can see here once you've used all the other ones that are available through the government website. This website has created quite a few practice papers with answers that you can get your child to attempt. And what's great about it is, even though they're a different color, they're red rather than blue, the format is very similar to how it would look um, in their actual SATs question. So a box for working out your answer and a box for giving your answer. So it, it gets them used to the format of doing questions in that way. Also, let's say that our child was doing this test and um, they did really well, but they were still struggling maybe with um, adding decimals um, we can go to this section, which says arithmetic 16 target questions. And if I click on this and scroll down, um, I can choose a particular question. So let's go to adding decimals, which was 6A. And what it does is it gives me loads of questions of that same type. Um, so I can get my child to attempt these questions um, and practice them regularly. So that you just get better at answering these types of questions, which I thought was really great. And not only that, let's say that you're a parent and you don't know how to teach that to your child. Um, there is a video here. Um, they also have videos on YouTube. Um, and I think they're really great, useful videos. So it's worth looking at them. Uh, a video on how to attempt um, each different type of arithmetic question. So they have a video here that you can click on and watch and then you know, you can watch it together with your child and attempt some of these questions. Uh, they have the same for each question on the arithmetic paper. Just go back to this bar here, arithmetic 16 target question. So um, I will probably be looking to do more question, more uh, videos on the arithmetic paper if you would like help with specific kinds of questions. But that's a good website to use. But also some good information for you guys to know and understand is that you know, if your child can score really high on that arithmetic paper, it gives them a great chance to pass the SATs overall. Um, just a quick aside from that as well. Obviously, that is the pass mark, 58, between 58 and 56, depending on the year. But also, um, there is a mark which is further up here. If your child did really well, what the greater depth score would be, because that is also um, a scaled score as well. Um, I'm not, let me see if I can quickly find it. Um, so the greater depth score, uh, this is all available on the government website. Um, okay. Doesn't say here, but it would be in the high hundreds. Okay. Yeah. So here it says, you can see 100 will have met the expected standard. A pupil awarded skills of 19 or less will not met the expected standard. Test conversion tables. So it doesn't say what the greater depth score is on this page, I don't think, unless I'm missing it. But um, I can put it down in the comment section of the video. Right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Um, please um, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, 
and hit the bell icon and uh, give the video a like if you wish as well because it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>